Hey, how's it going guys? Today I'm doing a little video on how to get dreadlocks with a sponge and a lot of people do ask this question and a lot of people do have questions on how getting dreads with the sponge and what types of hairs that it works on, the texture of hair that it works best on and the texture of hair that it doesn't work on at all. So I'm just gonna go over a little bit of that stuff and hopefully it helps you guys out a lot. If you guys are new, please subscribe, stick around through the whole video and then I'm just gonna give you guys a whole bunch of tips and tricks on how to get them and how to improve them quick and how to just get them the most efficient way as possible. I'm gonna give you guys the steps on like how I got mine and and what I did afterwards or what I did before to prep and how many times a day and all stuff like that. So stick around to the end of the video and we're gonna get it. So guys, right now I have Dunate's brother, Diddy right here. If this looks familiar at all, this is like a video that I did way back then when I was showing you guys how I did Dunate's hair or how I started out actually. Now we're doing it on Diddy, just a practice run. I'm not sure if he's gonna get dreads in the future or anything, but I'm just gonna show you guys how we get the process started. So the first thing we do is just you figure out like which way to do your hair and stick with the way you're doing it. So the way I'm gonna do it is counterclockwise when I'm doing it, so all I'm doing is going counterclockwise all the way around the head so that it's all going the same coil formation like the same way and all the same rotation. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys like the pointers like the hardest parts and the easiest parts to lock up or start locking at first. The hardest part is always the front right here. It's always just like seems like it's super hard to lock up but eventually it'll get there. The easiest is always the back for some reason but that's just how it is. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it and like the process and everything like that. So we start off and then just go in the circular motion, counter or clockwise or counterclockwise, but choose it and stick with it. And see how you can see just like little little areas getting formed up already. And if you stick with it, it eventually just gets down to the root and then it'll be fully formed. But a lot of people do use a sponge just to get the nappy look. And then you can kind of separate along the line of doing it and the best way that worked for me is when I was starting I would do it about twice a day for 10 minutes each and that's just if you want to get dreadlocks if you just want to have the nappy look you can do it in the morning and then just go about your day like that but as you guys can see it kind of got these little formations right now you can see like the little parts the little points and then it's already just forming so, with this process, you definitely have to be patient and just stick with it and keep doing it. And when it comes down to it, about, for me, it was about two weeks in when I started noticing a lot of the formation, as you guys can see, like a lot of the formation in the front right here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the back. And just from personal experience, what I've noticed is that the back worked easier. So we'll see if it's on the same for him. And I don't know the reason why this does this, but I think it's just because of like laying on the back of your head all the time or like just sitting down and your hair's resting and then the hair on the back is just usually more, has more texture to it for some reason. So what I've noticed is that hair will like get stuck in here and then it just twists up and it starts out the dread. That's why these holes are right here. And then I guess the sponge just makes it easier. You can also do it with the towel, but I'll explain that in a different video and how it works for me. So when you're doing this, you're gonna keep it in a small little circle and go around, but make the biggest thing is to always stay in the same direction. Always do clockwise if you started out clockwise. Always stay in counterclockwise if you're in uh, counterclockwise. See how it's forming in the back real easy? That's exactly what I was saying earlier, is that it forms really easy in the back. Now I'm just gonna speed up the process, let you guys see how all this is going down, and I'll show you guys how it's gonna look after that, pretty much the first day, if you're doing it for like a 10 minute amount of time. I'm not gonna do it for 10 minutes, but I'm just gonna show you a little process. All right guys, so after about seven minutes of doing his hair with the sponge, you kind of just get this like nappy kind of look is what they call it, but I'll show you guys like a little close up and a little round view through 60. So, you got the coils just kind of happening and it just comes out with a nappy look instead of just like an actual, like an afro kind of look, you know? So you can see the texture of the hair. And Nate's, uh, and Diddy's hair is about, you say four inches? Uh, I say about yeah, four, yeah, yeah about four, four inches. inches. 
So his length is actually not an ideal length to do the sponge with, but you can see it working a little bit here. Turn your head a little this way. That way? This way? I don't know. You can see it working a little bit and you got the coils everywhere. And it works best on about the two, here. oh yeah, on the back it works out really good. As you can see there's like, one second. There's more coils happening down here because his hair is a little shorter. And once it gets to the top, it gets a little more messier because of the length of the hair. It does work out best on about one to two inch length hair. And it just coils up a whole lot better and starts out the process better. But that's kind of just a little heads up on how to start out dreadlocks. Thank you, Diddy. No. No problem, dog. Got you, dog. So guys, that is exactly how I started my dreadlocks, but I did it with the towel, which I'll explain in another video. A lot of people just needed help with how to do it with the sponge, which a lot of people are doing it. A lot of barbers do it, a lot of salons do it. And I was gonna do a little thing on how to do DIY versus salon, which one is better to choose for you, whatever suits you, but I'm gonna make a video on that as well. Thank you, Diddy, for being the model today. And last time it was doing it, which is crazy, the table's kind of turned, and it's just, I don't know. It's crazy how far my hair has come just from doing that, starting off with that, you know what I'm saying? So it can help you guys, and the best texture for this is very coarse and very thick hair. It works best. The length I'm going for is one to two inches, like I said, and it just works very good, and it's a great way to start off the dreads, because by the time your hair reaches like three to four inches, it's already gonna be dreaded up. That's exactly what happened for me. I started at two inches, at about four inches, my hair was locked up and it wasn't coming out. And I did do some assistance afterwards, like I did some interlocking, I did some crochet hook. Crochet hook was the best part that helped me mostly. That's what I did exactly right after the whole towel rub or sponge rub method. And crochet hook just helped out tremendously. But it's all up to you, personal preference. Whatever works for you guys, works for you guys. The biggest thing about dreadlocks, what everyone will tell you is be patient and just love the way your hair looks at the moment time being and you'll just love it the whole time so guys thank you guys so much for tuning into this video if you guys enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you're new please subscribe and stick around throughout the whole time i do upload every single day i'll see you guys tomorrow so take it easy thank you guys for tuning in